A Billings church service interrupted with disturbing images forces a congregation to enlist authorities and pushes a change in the way pastors present during this pandemic. QT's Russ Riesinger reached out to the pastor at First Congregational Church in downtown Billings today and is standing by in our newsroom now with details on this disturbing act. Russ. Well, many of you are probably now familiar with the video conferencing app known as Zoom. It's become quite popular during this pandemic with people not able to meet in person. It has also unfortunately become popular with hackers, something known as Zoom bombing. Well, obviously we were, we watched in horror as our statement said, as, it, as we uh, realized that the, the Zoom uh, service was overtaken uh, by someone. And so our reaction was just really um, the shock and horror. Like many churches, Billings First Congregational has been delivering services in a different way, going to an online format during the pandemic. Co-pastor Lisa Harmon says about 75 members were watching yesterday on Zoom when the meeting was suddenly hijacked by someone who then displayed graphic pictures of a child being abused. Now, it's not clear how the hacker got in, but most often they do so by finding a public invitation that's posted online. Church officials ended the virtual service as soon as they became aware of the problem and immediately notified the police and the FBI. Absolutely, we're grieving and suffering for those victimized, um, for those affected, for the whole of our congregation and offering resources and counseling for our congregation and those affected. Um, and then, of course, we are just really committed to walking and working through our outrage as we um, work with courage towards healing and justice. In a statement, the church said it takes full responsibility for not setting protocols that would have provided a barrier for this kind of thing to happen and that they will take all measures possible in the future to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Janelle? Russ Reesinger live in the Q2 newsroom. Thank you.